A historic moment here in Indiana witnessing this, the total solar eclipse. Our state plunging into darkness this afternoon during the totality. Let's give you a live look outside right now as the moon moves out of the sun's path. Oh boy, this was such a big moment for our state, bringing thousands of visitors right here to Indiana to witness this really rare event. So people packing the state fairgrounds, that's a look out at IMS and so many other venues across Indiana. And now the rush to return home. <laughs> yeah. We're keeping an eye on the roads over the next couple of hours, hoping everything is clear. We want to make sure that you're updated if we do see some heavy travel backups here in central Indiana. But of course, of course, we got to take a moment and talk about this incredible experience that we got to see. Yes, it's so good to yes. have you here Glad today. Here. We've got team coverage. We've got Rich, Jenny and Karen that are joining the crowds around town. So we're going to start out with Rich at IMS. Noon. If you were at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway today and I'm standing on the victory stand, you were a winner today if you were here for the total solar eclipse. What an experience it was. Lots of fans and spectators still out on the actual race course and fans and the observers were allowed to go out there today to experience the total solar eclipse. Let's show you that as the moon started to cover the sun just after three o'clock. And the fans standing at the yard of bricks and all up and down the main straightaway, looking up at the sun and then darker and darker. And then you hear the eruption of the crowd with the total solar eclipse lasting almost four minutes, three minutes, 49 seconds here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, about the same time as a qualifying run here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And there were people here from all over taking in a once in a lifetime experience for many. Hey, what do you say? Um, this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. This is amazing. And the fact that we're on the start finish line on the yard of bricks at IMS is absolutely incredible. Cherry on top to a perfect day. <laughs> this is it's so three o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. It doesn't feel like it. I've yes. never, I've never seen three o'clock look like this in Speedway. And to be able to do this at the Speedway track is just amazing. That is incredible. So we actually live in the path of totality, but with NASA coming here, we heard about it last summer and we said, well, we're going because we're, we're space nerds. We've gone to, we tried to go to the Artemis launches and stuff like that. So we said we were going to drive over here. So we bought tickets immediately when they went on sale. That's a family of five from Ohio who, who again said they were in the path of totality, but decided to come to the Speedway to have this experience. We, of course, we had NASA astronauts here who were putting on educational seminars before the eclipse this afternoon. It was an awesome experience at an awesome place. We'll have more for you coming up in just a little while. All right, see you in just a bit. I can't think of a better place to have been out there. Even though there were lots of opportunities, we've seen festivals and events all across the state, including some big crowds down in Franklin. That's right, to the south. That's where Jenny Renovich has been in the middle of all the action underway there today at the Amphitheater Park. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> Yeah, Ann and Jalea, I know IMS was a great spot, but I vow to say this was a great spot too. Here in Franklin, it was like a festival atmosphere, lots of families enjoying the eclipse, and people from all over the world came here. You can see it's kind of cleared out a little bit, but people are enjoying with uh, music and kind of hanging out afterwards. I mentioned that people came from all over the world. So these folks came, Imka and Ralph are living in Chattanooga, but originally from Germany. Imka, tell me about this experience and what it was like to witness this eclipse and the path of totality for four minutes here. It was wonderful. Actually, we wanted to go to Indianapolis, but we decided otherwise because we read in Franklin is, is a happening. So we went here and it was the perfect spot for everything. I mean, they took great care of everything. They, they had perfect music. <laughs> Frank Sinatra and <laughs> my favorite, Fly Me to the Moon, and the Moon Pie from Tennessee. So everything was perfect. And then the actual experience when everyone erupted in cheers. It gave you chills, right? Right. It was spiritual, like magic. I mean, everybody was very quiet. And then when the sun came back, everybody was cheering. And it was really once in a lifetime event. So I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Thank you. 
Franklin. <laughs> well, thanks for talking with us. So glad you came here to Indiana. There's actually a map here at this festival that lists people put pins in every place that they came from to witness the eclipse here. And it truly is all over the world, from Japan to California to Germany. Really exciting here in Franklin. And Angelia. All right. Thanks so much, Jenny. You know, that's like national parks. Yeah. You know, it's like what national park you've been through, and they've got that display down there. You're a real traveler if you're out <laughs> chasing all these eclipses. Yes. So that's really cool. Yes. Well, some big names decided to experience the eclipse down in Bloomington at Indiana University. And that's where Karen Campbell joins us live. And we're talking Janelle Monet and William Schnat Shatner, some of the big names that were in attendance there today, Karen. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, having these big names come to experience the eclipse with all of these people here. These are not just IU students at Memorial uh, Stadium. There are people that brought their families, small children, because, again, as you heard uh, in, in Jenny's story, you know, and we've heard around Central Indiana, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So, yes, Janelle Monet, she is uh, quieting it down right now, but, you know, fans, they had their hands in the air. They were partying up in here in this Memorial Stadium. Uh, one interesting point, before Janelle Monet took the stage, before this eclipse happened, William Shatner gave the most beautiful spoken word performance set to music. We want you to listen to a little bit of what he had to say. Check this out. The moon is going to block the view of the sun to a small group of people on Earth, and we're among the lucky ones. William Shatner, there it is. He's so charismatic, isn't he? <laughs> but great time nonetheless for so many people out here today. Now, Janelle Monet, she will stay on this stage until about 5 o'clock. Some people have already started to make their way to their cars to perhaps get on the road and try to beat the rest of this, tra this traffic that, of course, are going to be on their way home. Uh, but, of course, we're going to have much more for you on this eclipse and on this experience here down here in Bloomington. For now, I will send it back to you, ladies. All right, thank you so much, Karen. We appreciate it. Let's get a look at traffic right now, especially along I-65. Yes, no, it looks like those people had the right idea that are sticking around in Franklin and out where Karen was at at IU because as you can see, it looks like things are moving along, creeping, at least I would say here, as people are starting to make their way back home. And so we're going to keep a close eye on traffic because now it's the mad dash back home as everybody was out at these venues. That's right. This is uh, I-65 at US-52 looking live at this hour at 4.07. So the return to travel rush is on for thousands of people who came by the state because they wanted to watch the eclipse. Of course. We're going to check in with Lauren Costic, who has a pretty good view of everything. Joining us from the state police headquarters with how everything is looking there. Good morning. <laughs> That's true. We have a bird's eye view of all the interstates across the state, and we have been watching it since before the eclipse and now after. And I have to show you this. This is kind of what we saw coming into Indianapolis earlier today on I-65. This is down south closer to Louisville. You can see that bumper to bumper traffic start to build there. Opposite of what we saw earlier, now all those folks are heading south, getting out of Indiana, and a little closer to home. This is here in Indianapolis. This will be over, we saw 465 in Ditch Road. You can see more of that traffic start to pick up. It was just a little bit backed up a few minutes ago. It's starting to pick up now, but that is the lane, that is the traffic to get on 65 to head north up to Chicago. So a lot more traffic picking up here as people start getting home, getting out of here, and getting back uh, to where they need to be. But the best tip we got from state police is make sure you stay put and stay late. So if you have any family that is either at these events or you're watching us right now, stay where you are and let these folks get home and then you can get on the road. And that is the best advice we got. So for right now, we're going to be keeping an eye on here at uh, NDOT headquarters on this traffic. But for right now, fingers crossed, it's looking good. Angelia. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Wait it out. All right. Thank you, Lauren. And it is not morning. Despite no, what yes. I said good morning. Like, yes. yeah, we, we appreciate you rejoining you, us after you. After waking up with us this morning yes. oh, yeah. as well, yeah. it's, it's a long day for everyone because it is a big news day. Oh, yeah. So we have all hands on deck. All right, well, it was really interesting is as we were watching this path and the eclipse come across the country, we were talking about the speed, yes. massive speed, 2,000 miles an hour, like three times like mm -hmm. the speed of a yes. jet. Yeah. And uh, we've got images to help illustrate that. Yeah. It really wasn't fathomable until like being outside and seeing like how quickly this thing was moving across. Well, yeah, I was geeking out as yes. you, you know, as you're going to test to here and uh, you know this is kind of a bird's eye view uh, what it looked like as the shadow of totality crossed 
through the U.S. at a speed of roughly 2,000 miles uh, per hour here. And that's why it took about four minutes roughly, or excuse me, about 10 minutes to cross through uh, Indiana. So coming up here in just a little bit, I will show you the temperature drop that we had during totality. Uh, but as expected, now we're back uh, into the hazy sunshine here. We're back into the 70s. And it is going to be quiet here as we go through the evening. Now coming up in the seven day forecast, and we've talked about how we were going to thread the quote needle today because we had rain and storms yesterday. We're going to have rain and storms at least scattered across the area tomorrow. But we got our window to work with, and oh boy, was it spectacular. The weather was absolutely it was. perfect. Great. You know, sunny and 70, <laughs> yeah. you know, very, very little cloud cover. Yeah, great nice. view. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Sean.